Hey, it's Dave and welcome to Voktopia. I am super excited to share with you this brand new Tiger Moth trailer from Tex Outdoors. We have been car camping for 20 years and our kids are getting to be the age where they want to spend some time with us, but they're almost out of the house. So we decided why wait until retirement or whenever. So I'm going to share with you some of the ways that I'm outfitting it. Okay, so this is me, first day. Just got the Tiger Moth trailer home. Outfitting the kitchen first. It's got this cool, I think it must be CNC cut, sort of kitchen box. and putting all the stuff that I typically have in just like a little basket into these cubbies. It's got the cool cutting surface. And then the whole thing just like slips away under the bench seat there. And then you deadbolt all the doors when you're, you know, um, on highway. We got it really pretty much nicely outfitted. Um, we purchased the Primus stove, which is the one that I would have gotten anyways. I've got this uh, sort of Moroccan beach bag that we keep uh, a lot of like our blankets and towels and beach stuff in. So just kind of squaring that away inside. One of the cool features is this like big bat wing porch door. And so I'm just chilling in there watching some uh, YouTube for a minute. It also comes nicely equipped with like the towing accessories, the shore power cord, the leveling jack uh, dealio, um, leveling blocks, a trailer hitch lock, really nicely equipped. Okay, let's talk about the tent. This is the Yakima Skyrise 2 three person. We had the option of going with either a Tapui or a Yakima for up to three persons. The Yakima has a lot going for it. It's, I believe, 20 pounds lighter than the equivalent Tapui. It gets secured to the crossbars really easily, so in the winter or off season, it's gonna be much easier to take off. Now, that being said, I kind of prefer the look of the Tapui tents, and the interior color, as it's diffused through the fabric of the tent, creates this like red hue on everything which is like you know it's kind of pretty typical for tents to do that to be like blue or red or whatever but I kind of like the natural colors that Tapui has and I'm not sure that the weight was actually a big consideration considering like our overall load in the camper is pretty low but the quick release feature on the Yakima is still like a pretty nice feature and what I have heard is that the ladder and the mattress cover at least are of good quality on the Yakima. And the only thing that I would say is that there is a rip on the tent, on the skirt that goes around the outside edge. I'm not sure if that was an installation thing. In fact, either tent is probably totally good and there'd be pros and cons to either. Okay, a couple other things about the tent. Just in comparison to regular tent camping, it's like convenient in some ways, but it's not like so much faster or more convenient in other ways that I would say it's like a complete slam dunk. Now the comfort level of the tent compared to a ground tent is much better. So like hoorah, but like the idea of like it being like raining or there's a windstorm or something where like you'd need to like take the tent down under adverse conditions is a little bit freaky to me because you're climbing around on the trailer and you're up on the the wheel wells and like some like slightly slippery surfaces. And there's a lot of tension on the rods that support the awning. So like you, you really got to be mindful of what you're doing because you don't want to get like a freaking rod in your eye. So would I get a rooftop tent again? Yes, I would because of the comfort. Uh, you know, we had a raccoon in our campsite, you know, squirreling around and it just, it felt kind of good not only to have the trailer, but also to have the tent uh, elevated. One little modification that I did right away was I took this old milk crate and then I took some scrap cedar wood boards and lined the bottom so that I could put like my cast iron cooker in there and some of the like pokey things that I needed to stow in the trailer and have them be, you know, nice and compartmentalized with no risk of scratching the bottom of the trailer floor. So here we are on our first trip, trying out the stove, kind of biscuits in the morning. 
uh, you know, really enjoying all the aspects that you like about car camping, which is that, like, you can bring more gear and, you know, not have to pack so light. You can see everybody's kind of cozy lounging. We got the doors open. Uh, we got a nice, like, zero-degree bag just from Amazon. We're going to be going out to the mountains this summer, and, you know, it could certainly be in the 30s, and I think everything will be pretty cozy with uh, the zero-degree bag and then a bunch of other just sort of supplemental blankets and sleeping bags and stuff. One tidbit that I'll just say if you're interested in getting one of these trailers is that the cushioning is not, like, comfortable. It's, like, durable and hard and well-made. We added a two-and-a-half-inch full memory foam topper but I think two and a half or even three inches of memory foam on top of the existing foam mattress would be um, a requirement if you want it to be like noticeably better than tent camping. Thanks for tuning in. If you like what you've seen, consider subscribing. Bye.